Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing a review on some more Makeup Geek shadows. Uh, I purchased these six to go into fall. You're about ready to see me use them. I kind of tried to recreate the look, didn't get close, didn't get close. So anyways, forgot to do my intro. What can I say? So these colors, oh my gosh, absolutely love them. Love them, love them to the point that I use these for a recent wedding that I just um, helped do. And it's these five over here. These ones were from August of this year. So I've already forgotten the name, so we're gonna push these down. And in my video, I did use this teal color. I did not use it today. But the teal color is called Autumn Breeze. This brown is called Grunge. Unbelievable. This might be the perfect brown ever. Just saying. Then we have this color here called Hayride. This apple spice is to die for. So I used these colors on a lady that had uh, very red hair like strikingly bright red and I've used it on me and I've used it on a bride who has more caramel in her hair than I do this one's called baby face <coughs> anyways this color right here looks good on anyone of oh my gosh apple spice is to die for so this color goes really well up here. This makes an unbelievable transition color. And actually, these four are my favorite. It's not that I don't like teal. I just can't wear teal every day. But in the video, I just barely swept it up underneath the bottom and it looked amazing. Um, I can see this being my staple because when I'm not testing new products or trying, you know, different eye looks, this I immediately gravitate to. Again, used it in a wedding. She looked phenomenal. If you have blue or green eyes, this color right here is going to make it your eyes pop. I mean, her eyes were beautiful, but when I had this these colors on her, her eyes stood out like jewels it was amazing i mean her the makeup these combinations with her blue eyes oh my goodness absolutely gorgeous these blend amazing which i always expect makeup geek to blend appropriately and these just go on flawless um you really don't need to use a blending brush if because they go on so well but you can still use a blending brush if you really, really want to. Anyways, I've really enjoyed using these. Again, it's just, they're going to be, not they're going to be, they are my go-to colors just because I love how well they blend, they pop, they look beautiful. So if you want to see an eye look similar to the one I have, I hope that the thumbnail is actually better, of more of a representation of what I'm about ready to do in the video. But anyways, stay tuned. So we're going to flip back to um, the color Apple Spice. Yep. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Got it. All right. We're going to pick up some Apple Spice. And that will be our crease into our transition color. Blending those two together. So far, really pretty. Really fall-esque and it is they're blending nice I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that hay ride they are blending nice but i'm gonna go ahead and kind of still blend out those i think i got started working up to a harsh line harsh line but i really like these colors so far for fall and i'm in a fall mood like i want to wear sweaters i want to be cold i don't know what that's like because i hot flash all the time all right we're going to pick up some grunge and sometimes for me getting the eyeliner on first really helps me kind of contain my wild hand 
sometimes I just start going crazy. So this brown, I'm digging. Like, I like this brown. It's going on nice. It's not patchy. And it's just a great color that, I mean, I'm not even trying to build it up. And it's got that nice chocolatey look really really that's that's pretty that's so pretty so I think on the eyelid let's see what we got in our makeup V colors yeah I think I want to pick up this shimmer here this one and this one are awfully close shimmer shimmer who do I have two shimmer shimmers because I really was digging that color for a while I do that's why they're close I got two shimmer shimmers um, I'm going to pick up a sponge applicator to give me a little bit more control. Oh wow, this ended up really light. So that was light, or light I should say. So I'm going to pick back up some of that grunge and work it back where I got a little crazy with the shimmer shimmer. So I think I'm going to pick up the color bronze from L'Oreal Infallible. As you can see, I've dug into this over the years. So let's see what we can't do. I think I am going to pull that gel liner below the lash line. do like how Shimma Shimma was light. However, I don't want something that is too sparkly up underneath my brow bone. So I'm going to pick up color white lies from and again that's one of my makeup geek palettes and that is light yeah these colors blended really really nice and with fall coming it just makes it so much fun to use neutrals and then we will go ahead and set the eyes now that we've got that in place then we'll do the double decker lashes from Rimmel because we love this mascara okay so <clears throat> I think that completed this look I do see I have a little bit of blending needing to be done right about there so I hope you liked this uh, tutorial using the new Makeup Geek shadows and I did use, you know, a lot of Makeup Geek on my lips and my cheeks and my highlight. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Overall, I really like these new eyeshadows. I like how they blend. I like how they, just the colors for fall is super exciting. So yeah, I really, really like how they look. They're soft, they're pretty, they blend well. You can build them up if you want a more in-your-face look. I mean, what more could you say? So these colors are, are absolutely fun, fun, fun. And I did just barely sweep the teal. So the teal isn't like I didn't do the in-your-face teal like I normally would. I just wanted to sweep it under to give it kind of a little bit of color variation. But you almost have to look close. Um, because I did just sweep it really light underneath there, which makes it kind of fun because when you're looking at it, you kind of see that it's not fully brown, but it's not so in your face that it's like, boom. Now that was my anniversary makeup. That had boom all over it, but I really, really like how this ended up turning out. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And now it's time for me to do this scraggly hair. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Until next time.